Welcome to another journey into the power of the harvest with Pastor Charles Ellis. Power of the Harvest offers biblical answers to today's questions, all found in the Word of God. Allow Pastor Ellis to guide you through the Word as he teaches with clarity and transparency so that you can not only understand, but begin practicing the Word of God so your life can be forever changed. Now, listen to today's teaching on the power of the harvest with Pastor Charles Ellis. It's a pleasure for you guys to join me here at Harvest New Life Church here in the city of Dallas. We had some problems on our earlier show. But you know, it's always declared and decreed the word of God has got to go forth according to whatever may come in your path, whatever stumbling blocks may try to hinder you. The word of God is always a word that proceeds to go forth and it never comes back void. We thank you once again for joining us on our evening show. As I have to reiterate on this morning, we had some difficulties, but you know, the word of God declared and decreed. Is there anything too hard for a God in heaven to do? You may be faced with impossibilities. You may be swayed with circumstances in your life. But you got to believe according to the spirit. If God gave you the command according to Romans 4 and 7 to call things that be not with the word. And that's just what he has given us. So we just continue to move forward and hear what the word of God has to say that's coming from the kingdom of God. And know that to him that everything and all things are possible. And we continue to touch and agree and declare that even as we go forth on this afternoon, that God is going to give us a word that comes from the kingdom of God. We're going to move forward and let the music solidify itself here just a little bit. And we're going to come right back with you. We're going to hear just what the word of God has to say that's coming from the kingdom.
to mind Only one word to describe Just one word comes to mind When I get into his presence Only one thing to say Father God, I thank you. I bless your name. And even as you take control of these microphones, Father God, and everything that the enemy is trying to come against to stop the word to come forth, Lord, we thank you, Father God, that even as we begin to speak, we begin to pray, we begin to declare and decree that even in this word, Father God, it's a word that will not go back void. Father God, loose the spirit in the name of Jesus. Even as we begin to marinate ourselves in the very words that come forth from the mouth of the very hymnist father god that sings out about the power that you're about to display in this word on this evening father god we thank you i thank you as i announce myself before your throne father god father god i lay myself out to you father god i receive that what comes from the kingdom of god and i come against every unauthoritative word every negative tongue every negative mindset i cause it to be loose under the authority and the power of the holy spirit and father god i thank you right now in the name of jesus even as we declare this word right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, touch every one of the young children as we speak, Father God, in every sickness and every disease that ever try to come on their body, that you loose it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for this opportunity on this afternoon to come forth, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you all for joining us here at uh, Harvest New Life Studios here at Harvest New Life Church. And I don't need to make no announcement because I don't need no alphabets behind my name to make me feel other than what God has declared me to be. I just let you know I'm Pastor Charles Ellis here, and I thank you for joining me here on this very study on this afternoon. As we get into the book of Deuteronomy, I want you to turn your pages swiftly over to the book of Deuteronomy. And let's, let's hear what the word of God has to say that's coming from the kingdom of God, even as we begin to look at the word closely and hear what God is about to say through the word of this man of God uh, in the season in which we all are in. And it deals with the area of the command that God commanded unto his children, even the ones uh, that we look back over into the book of Numbers. We see a we see a crack that actually took place in the, in the area where Miriam began to speak against the man of God over in the book of Numbers. I believe it's Numbers twelve, and and God began to declare the word that he heard the words that Miriam spoke out against the prophet, and God declared the decree that Miriam, were you not afraid to speak to me or speak to my prophet Moses? And that I speak to other men's in darknesses and I speak to other men's in different visions and dreams. But Moses is my servant. He's my minister. And I speak to him face to face. I want you to stay with me when I speak to this on this morning, this afternoon. Because I want you to hear what the word of God has to say for the kingdom of God. And even when you're in the midst of being in the command of the God, it always take one to try to crack the surface of what God has declared. That what's been sealed by the Holy Spirit. And even when you get these so-called soothsayers, these so-called Ahab, these, these so-called Jezebels and Ahabs that come into your ministry. And even as we look at the spirit.